Hey there guys, I realize I haven't made a video this week, so here is the video and what I'm going to talk to you about is Google Analytics and how I loathe it. Uh, not really, I'm, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to tell you a little trick I, I, I learned to my travels and uh, it looks like this. When you have a window add event list on, on uh, error and you also have that, that last parameter is true, you can you can basically pick up the errors from web page including 404s. Pretty cool, huh? So let me go to a web page where I know there's a 404 error. Uh, oops, it is uh, something to do with soap, I think. So as you can see, the images are missing. If I go to the console log, there's, there's 404 errors there and um, I'm going to fire, and basically what I'm doing is capturing the error and sending it to me into Google Analytics. Cool. Cool. Unfortunately, um, Google Analytics, the way that it handles um, events is a little bit mysterious. You can see them fairly clearly on, on real-time events. But when it comes to this... Can be a bit mysterious. In fact, I haven't figured out how you do it. Okay, event pages. That's that is a place where the event happened. But what was the event? Ah, uh, uncaught property in HTML. Okay, I actually know about these ones. G is no. Okay, that's a new one. Here's the four four errors that I need to fix. Um, unfortunately, the same problem really exists on the on the web app top events, you can't really drill into them, really wish you could, okay maybe after I chose event action there, you can't really get the full thing, so Google Analytics, well it's easier to set up than maybe a decent email um, over JavaScript, but still it's not optimal, but anyway, I hope you like this method of uh, tracking errors on your page and you find it useful.